Welcome back into Maverick Insider. I'm Katie McCormick, joined along MSU head basketball coach, Coach Matt Margenthaler. Coach, you guys are the number one seed in the NCAA tournament, hosting the regionals right here. When you found out on Sunday when it was all official, how excited were you and the team? Well, we were very excited. Don't have to get on a bus, don't have to get on a plane. We stay right here and, and, and a place we played very well this year. And so that's going to be uh, hopefully a big advantage for us uh, moving forward into this tournament and, and being able to go deep. That, that, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure we get, you know, that this place gets electric when there's people in the stands. We need to make sure that, uh, you know, this place is full for all three of the Maverick games this weekend. And you guys found out pretty late on Sunday who your opponent would be. When did you start preparing for that, like scouting and watching film? Did you start on Sunday or did you really focus it on Monday morning? You know, it was, really, it was Sunday because knowing that we were going to be the, the host team mm -hmm. and being the number one seed, um, earlier in that day because we won the conference championship would be so I had our staff really watching that the uh, championship game and thinking that was going to be the team that whoever won that who we're going to play uh, we do know Arkansas Tech I mean I know their coach very well Mark Downey has been a friend of mine for years uh, so this is the first time we're going against each other but uh, does a great job they run a lot of false action they run a lot of motion and on sets so they're going to really try to slow the game down and we're, we're going to obviously want a lot of possessions they're going to want very little possessions so it's going to be a chess match between both teams how are you not going to let them slow you down how are you going to keep that pace up so they you know don't cramp your style i guess is what i'm saying yeah for us i think what we're going to have to do is one we're going to have to defend very very well we're going to, have to create some turnovers we have to rebound the basketball we can't give them second third opportunities because we want to get out and run and, and the only way to do that is by getting to, you know uh, turnovers, rebounds, those things. You can't do it by taking the ball out of bounds all the time. So uh, we're going to try, hopefully, in the early and, and very often, play at our pace and keep it going for 40 minutes. So you're really going to work on getting the ball in transition and being pretty fast with that up and down the court, would you say? Yeah, yeah. we're going to have to do that. And, and I think by us uh, crashing the boards, we're, we're going to send four or five guys to the boards offensively mm -hmm. because they're not going to run and get out and run. So uh, we're going to try to you know, go plus 10 on the boards offensively. Mm -hmm. If we can do that, that'd be a positive thing for us. And then what are some things you're working on kind of fine tuning in practice here to be ready to come out and play Saturday? Yeah, the last couple of days, we really just worried about ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, talked a lot about some different spacing things, the way that uh, that Tech will really load up defensively. Uh, we think that the, we can take advantage of some weak side action um, and really get them to go back to spacing. It's going to be a big thing for us because if we get our guys where we need to be, I think we'll be able to get some really good catch and shoot opportunities and some closeouts where our guys can really get to the rim. And you said earlier about how the Taylor Center has been electric all year. You've had some record number of attendances here. How awesome or how great is that going to be to have a big crowd show up to support you guys being here at home? Well, we need to have that. And that's one advantage of hosting a NCAA tournament event here in Mankato. We get to show off not only the Taylor Center, our university, but our great city. And, and so we're bringing in seven other teams. They're going to be staying in hotels and being in this community, going to restaurants. Um, it's a big money maker for everybody, and uh, hopefully we'll get everybody out and, and support the Mavericks this weekend. And not to look too far ahead, but if, when you guys win on Saturday, will you stay and scout the team after the game, or what will that kind of look like just to prepare a little bit? Yeah, we'll stay for sure as a staff. Um, our guys will probably stay for a half and then get them out of here. Uh, you know, the nice thing about the way our league really has their schedule, we, we're used to playing back-to-back -back games. Some of these leagues aren't. Some of them play Thursday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Saturday. Uh, we have a tournament every weekend, so this is something we're used to. We just came out of the conference tournament in Sioux Falls, uh, so we're ready to get this going. And with eight teams being here, what does it kind of the gym schedule look like on Friday to get everyone in for the practice yeah, time? Yeah, they start practicing at 10 o'clock in the morning. The last one, I think, starts at 6 o'clock at night. Everyone gets about an hour and 50 minutes, I believe, is what it is. Uh, it'll be a very, very busy Taylor Center on Friday and Saturday with all the games. And uh, But again, it's just no better place to have this regional tournament than right here at home. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Coach. Good luck on Saturday. The Taylor Center is the place to be. Lots of basketball action happening here. Thanks for, so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week.